Let me tell you a story about how 40 years ago, a bowl of chicken noodle soup was responsible for one of the greatest comebacks in bowl game history. 40 years, or, or is it four years? It seems like four years ago. <laughs> and it's one of those things you'll never forget. Beth Bodner remembers it well. Her dad, Leslie Bodner, was the Notre Dame team doctor. She was 14 years old when her family traveled to Dallas for the 1979 Cotton Bowl Classic. So we used to go down to the bowl games with the team 10 days ahead of time. And so we'd be there for Christmas. I made a little stocking for my mom and dad. I had some tea and some oranges and some chicken soup in there because my dad was always cold. The worst ice storm in 30 years has hit this city. It has left its mark on the field. Right now, the game time temperature is 22 degrees, and there's a chill factor of six degrees below zero. We woke up the morning of the game, looked outside, and it looked like an ice castle. The trees were all covered in ice. The roads were all covered in ice, and so had the field. Montana, past the shoulder, and touchdown, Notre Dame. I think it was one of, if not the coldest game I've ever played in. We fortunately had got the wind in the beginning of the game, so we got ahead quick. Buchanan, touchdown! And as the quarter changed, Houston got the wind. I don't know if it was interceptions or fumbles, but I know there was a couple of my turnovers in there that ended up making it a little more difficult. Houston is leading at the half by a score of 20 to 12 over Notre Dame. Joe Montana, he says he has never been this cold during a football game in his life. I'm not a person who runs to the heater, but this game, honestly, I was so cold. I think the hot and the cold, the hot and the cold, ended up having my body temperature drop and be hypothermic. When I got into the locker room, I just couldn't stop shaking. My dad said that his temperature was at 96, and they just couldn't get it up to be normal body temperature. They tried wrapping him in coats in the training room. Everything they could think of wasn't working. It was then Dr. Bodner remembered his Christmas stocking and his daughter's gift of chicken soup. The morning of the game, when it was really cold, he stuck it in his bag along with this red hot pot he and my mom used to always travel with. And he thought, this is perfect. All I remember was sipping on the soup and they were trying to warm my body temperature from inside out. Joe Montana did not come out for the second half. The team physician has just told me he has the chills. His body temperature is below normal. They're giving him uh, warm fluids. Near the end of the third quarter, with Notre Dame down 22, Montana returned to the field. With eight minutes left in the fourth, the comeback was underway. Joe Montana comes in now at quarterback. He brought this morale that really turned the game around. Montana's rolling, and then he's got it. Touchdown. Now throws, and it's good for two points. It's all come down to this. The Houston Cougars, 34. The Fighting Irish of Notre Dame, 28. Montana. And it's a touchdown. A touchdown. It was a little quick out to Chris Haynes and it tied the game. And the thing about it is we had a new kicker kicking for the first time. Notre Dame has won it 35 to 34. And Montana has done it again. I tell people that it's little random acts like putting a packet of chicken soup in your dad's stocking that really can be that tiny thing to push things forward. The soup definitely helped me get back on the field. Thanks, Beth. We appreciate that.